Hey guys, how's it going? So last weekend, I went up to Shed Aquarium in Chicago. A little while back, one of the trustees at Shed had reached out to me about a potential collaboration just to kind of explore what possibilities there might be. Part of that was an introduction. This trustee was Rick Irwin, and he suggested, why don't you come on down to our Shed Gala? It's their annual fundraising gala in June. And I was like, sure. I never turned down the opportunity to go black tie. I mean, here in Akron, Ohio, there's not a lot of these types of events. Like, I haven't been to Chicago in a long time. I hadn't been to Shed in a long time. Obviously, I'm game. No surprise, it's a pretty fantastic venue to have a party. If you guys have never been to Shed, it's one of the largest aquariums in the country. It's this huge marble building right on the water of Lake Michigan, pretty much right in downtown Chicago. There was amazing food and drink all night. A lot of the staff were bringing out animals and giving some information to the guests about all the different things. There was penguins, different reptiles, and even some um, were holding like small aquariums with like shark eggs and things of that sort. There was live music almost around every corner. As soon as we walked in, there was a drum line right by the Stingray petting pool. There was this 20 foot tall lady playing a violin. I saw a guitarist here, but probably what stole the show was at one point there's a dolphin show and I think that's the cast of Hamilton singing. Yeah, so not every party has stuff like that going on. This is, this is a pretty big deal. So one of the really cool things about a big institution is that they're just able to affect change in ways that smaller, decentralized groups can't. As a hobbyist, as a YouTuber, as a small business owner, there's really only so much that, that you can do as far as outreach and as far as building awareness and really, I guess, affecting kind of the change that you want to see. And this is where potentially partnering up with large institutions really help because a recurring theme in this gala is the reduction of plastic in the ocean. And there were these art exhibits called, I think, Washed Ashore, which used uh, like this plastic that's collected and they turn it into ocean-based artwork. You, even uh, like that dolphin show, a big theme of it was you know, the, the accumulation of plastic in the ocean. Well, what SHED is able to do is just because of um, their, their size, their political capital, is that they were, they were able to get hundreds of restaurants in the Chicago area to make a commitment to stop using straws. They were able to um, convince the Chicago White Sox to stop using um, straws and single-use plastics. Yeah, it's a, it's a big deal because, I mean, as again, as like a hobbyist, small business owner, YouTuber, like I'll, just Google, for example, Plastic River, and you're going to be pretty disgusted by what you see on Google image search. And it's like, I can just sit back and just get miffed and upset by this. It's hard for me as a single individual to do anything about that other than just be upset. Whereas working with larger institutions, you see that they are able to change these things. That was my very optimistic takeaway from the event. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Special thanks again to Rick and Dixie for having us. And I look forward to doing this again. Happy reading, everyone. What's it gonna get me? If I sleep seven feet ahead of me? If I see it coming, do I run or do I let it be? Is it like a beat without a melody? See, I never thought I'd live past 20. Where I come from, from get half as many. Ask anybody about me living fast to be that rich for the flash we have to make this moment last. That's plenty. Scratch that. This is not our moment, it's the movement. We're all the hungry as brothers for something to prove it. Follows and pauses. We take an honest day and we roll like Moses. Claiming our promised land. And if we win our independence, is that a guarantee of freedom for our descendants? Or will the blood be shed begin an endless cycle of vengeance? The devil will know the sentence. I know the action in the street is exciting, but Jesus, between all the bleeding and the fighting, I've been reading and writing. We need to handle our financial situation. Are we a nation in space? What's the state of our nation?